In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a question in Google Classroom so that you can have an online discussion. I've already gone ahead and logged into my Google Classroom. I'm going to go to the Classwork tab and I'm going to create a new post. So I'm going to click on the Create button and I'm going to choose Question. The question um, item type allows you to answer two, ask two different types of questions, either short answer or multiple choice. In this case, I want students to have a discussion, so I'm going to ask them a short answer question. I have a space to type in my question, and then I can provide some optional instructions. Because I want students to read an article before they respond to the prompt, I am going to add some additional instructions. So I've given them the question, I've added some additional instructions, I want them to read a Wonderopolis article and then answer the question and reply to at least one classmate. So the next thing I need to do is I need to link this Wonderopolis article on can, you may, can music help you think. I want students to read through that so I'm going to copy the address and I'm going to use the add button and I'm going to add the link into this question add link and that will be there for them to view. Over on the right hand side you have several different options. You can decide if you want this uh, question to go to just one class or you can select multiple classes. You can send it to all students or you can select certain students to have the discussion with. You can give it a point value or you can make it ungraded. You can assign a due date simply by picking the calendar options and a time. I strongly suggest you pick a time because if you don't, it defaults to midnight and nobody wants to hear their phone or their Chromebook pinging at midnight. So let's say set that for 8 o'clock a.m. is a better time to get that notification and you can assign it a topic. This helps keep your uh, classwork tab organized so we're going to go ahead and put this in daily work. Here are two options that you need to pay attention to. In this case because we want to have a discussion we want students to be able to reply to each other. This other one students can edit the answer. If you check that you are allowing students to go back and change their answer. In this case I want them to stick with their original answer so I'm going to leave that unchecked. I'm going to go ahead and click ask and as soon as this saves it will be posted immediately to my classwork tab. You you will see that it is under daily work and it posts down here at the bottom. Now I want to make sure students see this so I'm going to move that right up to the top of the classwork tab. All right so if we click on this we will see what it looks like to the teacher. See the directions, you see the article linked, you see how many have turned it in and how many have, have been assigned. Uh, you can also go in here and view the question. Let's switch over to a student view and see what it looks like from a student's perspective. So we'll go ahead and refresh this. I am now on a student's account and we will see daily work and here is that question. They'll click on the question, they see the directions, read the Wonderopolis article, they'll be able to open that article up and read through it and then they come back and it says click view question to answer the question. When they click view question they will still see all of your directions and they will have a spot to type their answer. Once they've got their answer typed, they need to turn it in. When they click turn in and turn in, it's reminding them that they won't be able to make changes after they turn it in, they'll see an option to see classmates answer. So they'll be able to click on that and any classmates who have provided an answer will be visible here. Now let's switch back to a teacher side and see what that looks like on the teacher side. Here we can see that one student has turned that in and if I click on that that's going to filter out and it's going to show me all students who have turned in that assignment. And so I can see Rachel's um, response, I can actually offer her a reply, I can go ahead and return that to her so that she knows that I looked at it. Using Google Classroom is a simple way to hold an online discussion with your students.